on T A E on iTunes. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. It it's Tay Phoenix. T A E. T A E. Okay. Yeah. T A E. Wow. Thanks. Just put that over. Uh, I just reblasted out to all my followers. So if you want to do another song, there's more people sure. showing up. Sure. Yeah, here. I'll do it. Um. I'm not sure. Should I do? The the I'm buying it, it's called Bound for the Deep. It's super contextual. <laughs> Nice. And uh, Robert, what were you saying about Meerkat sucks? She's it just, still sucks. She's still she's selling she does songs not on sucks. iTunes right now. <laughs> yeah, okay, Meerkat. buy your iTunes songs through, through Meerkat. No, it's true. It's um, I, I mean, I haven't used so I've used. I thought You're about on using Meerkat, too, right? Yeah, Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, pretty much anywhere you want to get your music, you can find me. Um, you can also You'll go to my website. You'll get your two cents from me from Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Peter Hollins was telling me that a lot of his friends make really good money off of Spotify. It's really just a volume issue. Yeah. Um, but you know they really could do better with their revenue share. So you know if they if they wanted to, they. Could I was talking to do Claire better. Parr, who's a friend of mine, uh, who's a music pr producer, owns a record label, and, and she says music's changing, so change with it. Yeah. You know, Spotify yeah. is how people find you, mm -hmm. and then they invite you to their home and pay you a couple grand. How much yeah. do you charge if you want to play a concert at my house? If I want to play a concert at your house, I would do it for free because you're my friend. Oh well, um, don't do shit but, for friends for free. No, I mean, but, but I would. I mean, I would. I would potentially encourage your friends to buy my CD. Yeah. Um, or to make a donation at the door, but I wouldn't actually charge anything. If you somebody do it free for Robert because yeah. he's got a huge audience. Well, clean up. Yeah. That's, I mean, so no, I but, would. But musicians now are. I'm trying to remember on my Kickstarter. So if you donated, I think it was at the thousand dollar level, you got a house concert on my Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, I'm working on starting up a Patreon now. I've got a new project that I'm not ready to talk about in detail yet, but I'm going to tie it in with Patreon, and I'm really excited about that. So. But it, most people don't realize that you get a couple friends together, get a thousand dollars together, and you get a great musician to come out their house. Cyberdust. Yeah. Jim Bear said, "Great singer." Yeah. Oh, cool. So this is going through Meerkat, through Cyberdust, through the web. Oh, the tubes. It's just you know, a series of tubes. It's not a dump truck. That's not. <laughs> Sorry, it's not. A, it's not a dump truck. It's a series of tubes. All right, I'm gonna play another song and stop talking because <laughs> I'm 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 better when I when I sing. <laughs> Oh, um, I'm not really ready to play anything on the piano for you. Play Freebird? Huh. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Chris Moss show we all know. Freebird. I've seen the world, done it all, had my cake now. Diamonds, brilliance, on Bel Air now. July when you and I were forever wild the crazy days the city lights the way you'd play with me like a child will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful will you still love me when I've got nothing but my aching soul I know you will I know you will I know that you will Will you still love me When I'm no longer beautiful I've seen the world lit it up As my stage now And channeling your angels in The new age now Like summer days Rock and roll The way Tell me if you can Oh, that great
embrace All that body, all that face Makes me wanna party He's my son, he makes me shine like diamonds Oh, will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? That you will Will you still love me When I'm no longer beautiful Oh, will you still love me When I'm not young and beautiful Will you still love me When I'm no longer Ty Phoenix. Tay, it's Tay, it's Tay. <laughs> Everyone Tay. says, lots of people say Ty. I feel like I might just need to like give into it and let people pronounce Tay. it either way, but I'm so doing it Tay for now. So, so what yeah. are people saying on the, the comments? I, there's not many comments. Talent. It's like, oh, last comment. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I need a drink of water. That's so maybe I'm going to do that. And, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have you ever done like, an online concert? Um, you know, I've thought about it, and I haven't done that yet. She just did? But I, I mean, I guess I'm, do <laughs> I'm doing one right now. So, you know, um, so that's a thing. <laughs> um, maybe I should do, let's see, what else can I? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do. There's Scott Jordan. Hey, hey Scott. Hello. Scotty Best. At, there, okay, so Scott's got this theme song for his company that is like stuck in my head. It's like ridiculously catchy, but I think I'm like the only person who's made a connection with this theme song. You mean Eric, Eric Clapton knockoff pocket oh. man? No, oh, no, no, what you want? The, Scotty Vest is here. It's easy to be sane. Scotty Vest is here to take away the strain. It's it's silly, but you know. <laughs> Written by um, one of our customers who wrote all the all the Budweiser commercials. Uh, Budweiser from like the 1970s, um, but this Bud's for you, and uh, I love New York. He wrote all the famous jingles, Steve Carmen. Look him up on YouTube, it's like crazy. Every cool jingle you remember from the 70s, he's a customer and he offered to write us a jingle, and he wrote it, and I didn't like it, but you remember it, and apparently there's something to it, you know? That... Uh, it got stuck in my head. So, I mean, and every, and every time I put my Scotty vest on, I start singing this song, I'm like, damn it! <laughs> All right, I'm going to do another original song. All right. This one's called Lullaby. I just finished writing it with my good friend Jen. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be relying on a chart here, too. But, oh, cool. uh, you know. I played this at your birthday party. It was my Yay. first live performance of it. We appreciate that a lot. with the monsters and the mystery
you see